Buon pomeriggio! Welcome to Clelia's Cucina Italiana. Today we're going to do a wonderful dish. Somebody asked me why I hadn't done it yet. So here it is. It's going to be pappardelle alla bolognese. And I'm going to show you now how you make the bolognese sauce. We use about one medium to large onion, chopped, a couple of garlic cloves, and uh, some celery and some carrots. Just figure about a cup of each thing. Okay? The most work is just chopping the vegetables here. So we're going to start out with the onion because that takes a little bit longer. And we'll let that saute a little bit. It's a very easy dish that uh, anybody can do, really. Like I said, the, the most uh, work is just chopping the vegetables. Once you've done that, you're all set. Okay? Now I'm going to put two cloves of garlic. It doesn't have to be too small because, you know, everything else is a little bit chunkier. Okay? So here we go. The garlic. And this smells strong between the garlic and the onion in this kitchen. Whoa! <laughs> but it's going to be delicious. And we are keeping the fire here, the heat on high, because we want to get going. That's going on. Now we can put the celery and the carrots. And you see how small they are? You want them nice and small. So while that's sauteing a little bit, I'm going to put a couple tablespoons of oil, and I think it needs a little bit more. So figure maybe three tablespoons. We don't want them to get too dry, because if they get too dry, then they start burning. OK, now that look pretty. I mean, nice and colorful. Okay, well that's getting done here. I'm going to talk about the meat. This meat goes in it too, you know, it's part of the sauce. And what we have here, we have a half a pound of beef, a half a pound of pork, and a half a pound of veal. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just use uh, beef, you know, it's up to you. But this is the correct way of doing it. You can just use beef and pork if you want. If you really, I know some people don't like veal. But, uh, you know, this is the correct way. It's up to you. You can use all hamburger if you want. But, okay, a half a pound of each. So if you want to use one, use about a pound and a half. Okay? All right. So we don't, we're not going to put that in yet. We want the vegetables to get done a little bit. We wait for this to get a little bit more going, and then we put the meat to get just enough to get all the red out. Now, I'm going to talk to you about making the homemade pasta, okay? We have here a KitchenAid here, which is great for that. And to do the pasta, okay, we need about two cups of flour. Now, this is regular all-purpose flour. Now, for people that are really watching the diet and they don't want so much, uh, you know, starch, I've done it with whole wheat. The whole thing with whole wheat and it comes out delicious. I'll tell you, the whole wheat pasta you buy, it's awful. But this, if you use whole wheat instead of regular flour and the same procedure, it comes out really good. But today I'm going to use the regular flour because I think most people probably like the regular whole purpose flour. Okay? So we have two cups of flour, it goes right in here. And then to that we use about one teaspoon or even a little bit more of um, salt. Okay. And we use the pedal to start out. Okay, and we just mix the flour and uh, and the salt a little bit just to let it go a little higher and that's all just enough to get the, the salt and the flour combined all right i want to pay attention to the sauce before we proceed i want it to be a little bit more sauteed before we add the, the meat. And to this we can add a little bit of salt to your taste. 
and I'm going to do it to my taste, like a teaspoon or a half a teaspoon anyway. And a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. As much as you want. We started out with onion, garlic, celery, and carrots, and the two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay? And to that, we're going to add the, the meat, which is about a pound and a half, the three different kinds. And then we're going to add about a, one and a half to two cans of the 28 ounce uh, good Italian tomatoes. Okay? And, the, and to that, after the, the tomato gets going, we'll, uh, we'll add about a cup, uh, for, you know, three quarters of a cup or a cup of uh, red wine, good red wine that you drink, okay? Don't buy anything that, for cooking because it spoils the whole thing, okay? That's my advice. Good dry, dry red wine, nothing sweet, okay? Okay, this is pretty good now. So now we're going to add the meat, all right? We add the beef. We kind of break it up a little. There we go. And we want this to saute a little bit. So we had uh, we have uh, one and a half to two cans of 28 ounce uh, tomatoes, crushed tomato or a chunky tomato, whatever you prefer. And to that we we'll, we we'll uh, add about one tablespoon of paste if you want to. Okay. If you like your sauce uh, a little more thick. But if you, if you cook your sauce, I, I think I've told you that before, if you cook your sauce without the cover, it usually gets dried up and it gets a little bit thicker, even without uh, the paste. So now we are adding the pork. Okay. So this is going to be a nice, hearty meat sauce. <laughs> I know, whenever you go to restaurants, you see so many people ordering it, you know, pasta bolognese, pasta bolognese. And uh, I, I'm surprised I haven't done that for, for so long. I just never thought of it. I made it at home. You know, I make it at home every so often for us, for my family. But uh, I don't know. I never thought about it till somebody mentioned it. <laughs> so here you go. I'm making bolognese sauce just for you. Okay, now we can add the veal. And all this is going to make the sauce really nice and rich and tasty. And you know, and the carrots and the celery and the onion and garlic, I mean, they usually give a really nice, nice flavor. And like I said, keep it on high. Here we go. Yeah. So what do you think so far? You think you're going to make this? See, once you start doing this, you know, it's easy. And if you really don't want to go to the trouble of making your own pasta, you can buy, you can buy fresh pasta, pappardelle or, uh, you know, even uh, the dry pappardelle that, that, that's sold in stores. But it's nothing like homemade pasta, fresh pasta. And uh, you will see that it's not really that hard if you want to, you know, take the time. Okay, this is getting really nice here. Nice and well combined. 
And you really, like I'm doing, you really have to keep uh, uh, sautéing here, stirring. Stirring until you get all the meat combined and uh, you don't see any more pink. And this, uh, this will be enough for about a pound or, or so of pasta, even a little bit more. Okay, depends on how much sauce you like to put on your dish. But this, this should be enough for a pound. At this point, we can add the tomatoes, okay? And I have here two cans, 228 cans. I'm going to add a little bit and see if I want to use all of them or if I just want to use one and a half. I think I'm going to use all of it. Oh, that looks so good and it smells even better. I'm going to put it all. Okay, so two 28 ounce cans or crushed tomato or chunky tomato, but be sure it's a good Italian brand. Don't buy anything just because it's on sale. Because <laughs> sometimes, although these are on sale at times, but what I meant is inexpensive because you don't get the same results. Ah, this looks good already. There we go. Now at this point, we can lower the heat and let it cook. And I think, uh, I think I'm going to put one tablespoon, I won't put more, of tomato paste. Okay? And then later on, when it gets going a little bit, then we'll add the, the wine, red wine. Great. And this usually doesn't take long, you know, you keep the medium high, you keep the, the cover off, and the, it's usually enough time by the time you make the pasta. All right? So speaking of pasta, I'm going to turn the, the heat so the, the water can start boiling here. In here I have a, a pan full of um, six to eight uh, uh, quarts of water with uh, a tablespoon, a good tablespoon of salt or two. You really should salt this, otherwise it's going to taste like flat, you know, the pasta. All right, and we are just adding about three quarters of a cup of red wine into the sauce. Okay, and we stir and we just let it keep cooking. All right, just leave it alone. And then we have two cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt in here, and uh, just to, we have two eggs, okay? And we're going to let that work together. And like I said, sometimes I put two, sometimes I put three, depends on the size of the eggs, all right? So this looks like two might be okay. So to that, I add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, right in, okay? Here we go. Nice oil. And I think I'm going to put another egg. So let's see, it's uh, three eggs. Because it just doesn't look, still doesn't look the way I want it to look. Okay? So three eggs, two cup of flour, teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of olive oil. That's what we have right here. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful now. And we're going to turn this off and put the, the hook, okay? See, how nice and yellow and nice it looks. I'm just going to clean this up. And 
the sauce is doing beautifully. And uh, at this point, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more flour, okay? I'll put the hook on now. And I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, flour, a little bit more. There we go. And uh, when, the, when the dough starts getting together like in a bowl around the hook, that's when it's ready. And it looks like it's doing beautifully. Maybe you have to push it a little bit. Just a little drop of water. Beautiful. I just want to, it's getting around the bowl. I want to get it out so it can mix better. There we go. A little tiny bit more flour. If it looks a little bit too wet, just add like a teaspoon at a time of flour. Because we don't want it too dry, but we don't want it too wet either. Oh, it's doing beautifully. Perfect. Okay, we're going to get a little bit more on the bottom here. You have to do that every so often. I add a little bit more flour. Still a little bit wet, so. There, that saves you all the time of kneading this by hand. The hook is doing the work for you. Okay. At this point, we're just going to knead it a little bit. Just want to make sure. And then we wrap it around, you know, we wrap it in paper for a few, you know, like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. There. Done. Get it out of here. And put a little bit of flour on the board. And you have to knead it a little bit, just not that much. Beautiful. And when it looks like it's nice and together, Okay, at this point, we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes or, or so, 10, 15 minutes, okay? We will be right back and then I'll show you how to make the pappardelle. Don't go away. Here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna make some juice. It's gonna be good. She's excited. A little bit of kale. Please don't put this on the line. I'm putting it all over the line. It's wet, it needs something. No, it'll go. Don't break my juicer. Looks good. You ready to try it? Come on, baby. Let's Challenge try. your kids to be active and eat healthy. It's okay. Okay, like all right. They might surprise you. Right, she took another sip. You saw it? Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. And we're back. And while you were not looking, we had to do some pappardelle. But now I'm just going to show you a piece. What I did with the ball that you saw, I split it in four pieces. And these are the three pieces. And now I have one more that I'm gonna show you just how it's done. We put it through this, it's like a, uh, I don't know, like a, instead of rolling it by hand, this rolls it. So you always start this with number one, okay? And then you keep going up. So we start with one and put it through like that. Put a little flour like that and fold it over and put it through one again 
put it through one a few times while you fold the dough. Okay, to give it some nice consistency, like keep putting a sprinkle a little bit of flour. And we put it in one one more time. Okay, I'm gonna fold it again and put it on one one more time. Okay, I sprinkle a little bit of flour. One more time in one. Okay, now we can move it to two. This saves all the time of rolling the dough, okay? This is done for you. This is what we are doing now. Now we're going to three. And for this particular uh, pasta, the pappardelle, we are going to go up to five because it doesn't have to be really that thin. Now, if we were doing raviolis, I would go thin. I would go to up to six, sometimes even a little bit uh, seven. But six is usually good. But, you know, raviolis have to be really thin. You have to be able to see, see your hand like in the stuffing. Otherwise, they're going to be, you know, tough. The raviolis, all you, all you will taste is dough. Okay, so this is done. Nice. I'm going to turn this off. This is what we've been doing, what you were looking. Okay? So we had some strips like this. I'm going to put a little bit of flour. And now to make the I'm just going to cut it in half because, you know, otherwise it'll be too long to wrap around the fork. So to make the pappardelle, I'm going to do this by hand. I usually like to start with the pointy side towards me and then fold over. So then you get a nice clean roll. All right, like that. And, and just cut it like that. And usually the way to think of, of why they should be, it's like two times maybe the size of a fettuccine. All right, or you know, as wide or as thin if you want. And I know what we do, and we just hang them here while the water is boiling. And we, they're just hanging around here. But we couldn't do the whole thing because we wouldn't have had enough time to show you. So we just had to do with one piece just so you get the idea, right? Okay, here's the other piece. We're gonna do the same thing, roll it like that, like a jelly roll, or just fold it like that, and then just cut it, you know, like by eye. I mean, just whatever you wanna do, like that. See, nice and clean, unroll it, and just hang it up. And if you don't have one of these, you just put it on a clean, uh, tablecloth with just a little bit of sprinkle of flour so they don't stick, okay? But uh, this is a little, nice little gadget to have if you do it that often. Okay, here we go. Like that. And the pasta is boiling. I mean, the pasta water is boiling and the sauce is really pretty much ready. So we are ready to go. Okay. Here's the pasta, see? Here's the pappardelle that we made. Okay, the pasta, the water is boiling. So we're just going to put them in. And they usually take about, uh, oh, about, as soon as they come up, like on, on the surface, they're usually done, but I give it one more minute. Like when they come up on the surface, I give it one more minute and then I shut it off and drain them. Now, these are going to be so delicious. And it really isn't that bad. I mean, you know, if you really want to take the time, homemade pasta just tastes so great. <laughs> Says Clelia, right? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to just stir it a little bit. Here we go. And it should be cooking really quick. 
and don't make them too wide because they get a little wider when they're cooked. Okay, at this point, we will be right back and I'll show you when they're done. When I drain them, I'll show you just how to put the, the whole dish together. Don't go away. And we're out. You got plans? You bet. Fifty million Americans struggle with hunger, but we can do something about it. Excuse me. What's going on? Dinner. Please join me in helping put food on their tables. Together, we can feed America. You guys keep going. I'm going to get the plates. Plates? Find your local food bank at feedingamerica.org slash hunger. And the pappardelle are done. Make sure you drain them really well. See, it's not good to make them too thick because they get fatter when they're cooked. Oh, and they're delicious, even without the sauce. <laughs> I love my stuff, don't I? Okay, now we're gonna put some nice sauce. The sauce seems to be done. And the person they wanted to see, that I won't say, that I wanted to see the pappardelle and the bolognese sauce, there you are. I hope you're going to try it and enjoy it. And you had a good lesson, you learned. Oh, this looks so delicious, I'll tell you. And it smells even better. Okay, I'm gonna just put some in a dish for a serving. You can see a little bit more. And the serving dish. And now what we need is a little bit of more sauce in the middle. Clean this up a little. With a little bit of cheese. Hmm. Why wouldn't this taste good, huh? And here you go. Pappardelle con salsa bolognese. I'm gonna put a little bit in here. And a little cheese. Delicious. And this is for me. <laughs> Until next time, this is Clelia. Buon appetito e arrivederci alla prossima volta. Now try this delicious sauce and pasta. Okay? We'll see you. Ciao!